Welcome to our Church Windows Financial to Accounting conversion, conversion presentation. We've constructed this presentation today uh, to detail or walk through our users through the process of converting Church Windows Financial to accounting. Uh, this is in most part due to the fact that our late next version of Church Windows will not support or be able to be installed if our users are still using Church Windows Financial or contributions. We will also be presenting another uh, separate presentation or movie uh, that details the steps to completing the contributions conversion. The current version of Church Windows that we have is 1613.2. Uh, our 2A here simply represents a hot fix uh, that some of our users have required or required to install. However, if you have 1613.2 of some kind, then you are on the current version of Church Windows. Our next version of Church Windows, version 17, expected to be released sometime in 2014, again, will not uh, support financial or contributions or will not be able to be installed while users are still using financial and contributions. Simply what this means is that our users have been receiving notifications um, on their current version CD that this is the final version uh, where financial and contributions can be used. Um, and so we've decided that this is a good opportunity for us to be able to uh, you know, offer a, a presentation such as this that details the steps to completing the conversion. Many of our users have been reluctant to convert over. Um, one of the things that uh, it's important to be aware of is that uh, while church windows or while accounting in this case is new for many of you, it is not new to us. The accounting uh, version of church windows was released in 2008, so it's been out for a little over five years at this point. And so there's uh, lots of really wonderful new features in the new accounting module. And uh, if you want to stay up with us on our, our newest and latest versions, then we'll have to make this transition over to the accounting module. So these uh, this presentation is, is designed in such a way that it's going to walk you through many of the resources that are available to prepare for accounting, uh, you know, so you're not, you know, left in the dark about that. And so you are at least have a, know where the resources are and information that is available. It's going to show you the checklist of things that you'll want to look at prior to converting uh, financial to accounting. And then we're actually going to go through the and walk through an actual conversion process. Many of our users are intimidated by this. And really, the conversion process is really one of the least complicated portions of the actual uh, conversion over to accounting. It's you'll spend more time actually preparing for the conversion than you will actually probably uh, completing the conversion itself. So a few things before we go ahead and get started here. Again, first of all, our current version of Church Windows is version 16.13.2. If you are on support and you have that, we would encourage you to uh, try to upgrade to that version. Um, in addition to the, uh, the actual version, of course, one of the things we're going to strongly recommend is that you do, if you go and put pop your version 16 CD into the drive, as we have here, um, many of our users are unaware of this, is that when the contents of, uh, or the CD auto runs and we click the browse CD function, we still will see a folder here called manuals. When we double click on that, we do see that there are the entire list of program manuals, including both our accounting and donations. So the donations is, or accounting is a PDF file here. Uh, you can either leave this on the disk and, and reference or access it from the CD anytime. You can copy and paste the uh, PDF file off the disk onto your local computer, um, or and you can even, of course, uh, open the manuals themselves and print, print a hard copy if you, if you wish. Um, so again, your program CD, installation CD, does come with an updated set of manuals. Um, we also do like to point out that the Church Windows help files um, also in, in have also are updated for the accounting information. So if you go into your Church Windows help and you type in any subject or topic that you're wanting to seek or search for in accounting, uh, on the accounting or donations modules, then uh, you should be able to find lots of information there about those as well. Um, of course, prior to making any broad change to any database program, we're going to strongly recommend that, uh, that the church or user make a fresh backup of your data. So backing up the data, of course, can be found by clicking under System Administration and Backup Data. Um, you can back up to the local machine, to an external hard drive, to a, a thumb drive, basically anything that gets it out of church windows just in case there's a problem uh, during the conversion process. Uh, we have a backup of your data that we can restore back to or get back to um, if we absolutely need to. Uh, finally, 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up my web browser and we're going to go to uh, the Church Windows website and we're going to go to uh, down the right left side here to the link under support. Uh, if you see that there we see lots of sub links under support but we're looking for the one labeled conversion transition. This is the section of our website that we've constructed specifically to, you know, as a resource for our users who are preparing to transition uh, from either accounting to, uh, from financial to accounting or from contributions to donations. <laughs> the, uh, we're going to scroll down here and as we clearly see under the section called accounting, there's again lots of information, four parts here, four different documents that we've constructed specifically for churches or users who are preparing to transition from financial to the new accounting module. Uh, while they're all helpful, you know, there's a quick reference guide, you know, there's transactions and corrections as well as other accounting information, but I'm really here to show you today this part two document, which is the actual um, preparation steps and the completing of the conversion to accounting itself. So when we click on that and it opens up our PDF file, that's our church windows. It says 2010, but the steps are exactly the same and the same requirements are there. Don't worry about that. Um, we're going to scroll down here. And in addition to, of course, the lots of information that this uh, document itself contains, uh, the, really what I'm here to show you is if we scroll down here to one of the later pages, the uh, section that says converting from financial to accounting, uh, as we continue to go down here, we're looking for specifically the section called con preparing for conversion to accounting. Uh, so this is just some of the things, that, a handful of things that we would recommend that, uh, well, the system requires it simply. Um, you know, as we're looking under the preparing for conversion, the bullets down the left side here, all of our transactions should either be posted or deleted. You can't have any waiting, you know, checks waiting to, to print in your uh, print queue in, in financial. We cannot have any contributions batches waiting to transfer over to financial. We cannot have any bank reconciliations uh, that have been started and saved but not finalized. It, of course, uh, for the reinforced and, and better audit trail that accounting offers, we also strongly recommend not deleting any of your expense payees as they will be converted over to accounts payable vendor accounts. Uh, we do suggest deleting perhaps any unused liability accounts. I, I'm, you know, my, my, my knowledge of the system also indicates that much of this cleanup that this is suggesting with regarding to deleting accounts can also be done after converting over to accounting as well. So um, in the interest of perhaps saving time and getting over to accounting quickly, uh, more quickly, you may choose to not delete your accounts until you get converted over to the accounting module. And then finally, uh, to make a printout, uh, printout copy of your balance sheet, including your beginning balances and year-to-date totals, uh, just simply to have something to, com to compare to post-conversion um, and then also, of course, to uh, take a look at and begin the you know, understanding or the, begin the, uh, the, co the concept that our, our balance sheet simply must be in balance in accounting now. So um, you'll want to look at your balance sheet and see if you are in balance. It doesn't mean that you won't be able to convert, um, but we're wanting to make sure that we do have something to compare to at least after the conversion to accounting has completed. And then finally there, the very last option is to make a backup of our data. So like I said um, earlier, as I said earlier, that you will probably spend more time um, preparing and going through this checklist of things to, uh, to look at in your financial data before converting than actually taking the time to complete the conversion itself. Um, so when, you know, you can print this document or save again, a, you know, save a link to it or what have you, um, you know, make a printout, whatever you need in order to do that. And then I go through this list and call us if you have any questions or problems with it. Uh, finally, then uh, when we go back into church windows, we're going to go over to system administration. We're going to go to backup data. We're going to back up everything and we're going to maybe drop it right onto our desktop here. So we're going to click on desktop and click OK and then start backup. It takes just a few seconds to complete the backup, very quick here in this case. Um, so when it's the backup is completed, it exits, exits us out of church windows. And when we're back here at our desktop, we clearly see that we now have a backup of the data on the desktop and we're going to relaunch church windows again. The Having, let's say we're going to go through, having gone through all of those things, 
you know, we go to contributions, special functions, uh, transfer contributions. We didn't get any messages when we logged in indicating there were any batches. And clearly here under our, our transfer contributions to financial screen, there are no dates waiting there. The system would have warned us of, of, of anything like that. Um, when we go into financial and check printing, it clearly says that there are no checks waiting to print. So, you know, the, um, you know, the final step again would be to go into our reports, balance sheet, choose our balance sheet for December down in the lower left, choose our beginning balance and year to date, <coughs> and then click next and print a hard copy of the report itself. Okay, so once we did that, we would simply click print all in the upper left, and then when we're done, close out of the balance sheet. And then we're ready now to complete our conversion, uh, which then is simply completed by going to, and this is the part that folks have the hardest time getting to, is, you know, that because you are converting over from financial to accounting, you know, that, you know, there's a sort of a, an intimidation factor that comes into it because folks are like, oh, am I ready to do this? Well, if you followed these checklists that we've looked at beforehand, um, and you've gone through and you're aware that there are help files and the manuals on your CD and all kinds of information available. All of our training material is on the new accounting module as it is with the donations. Uh, then you're as about as prepared as you can possibly be. And, you know, I tell lots of folks on my support calls that, that, you know, finally, I can't help you if you don't call me. None of our technicians can. So if you have any questions, of course, about accounting or any portion of the software and you're on our support system or support package program, please pick up the phone and give us a call or send us emails. Our technicians are always available and happy to help. So to complete the conversion itself, we're going to click on Financial, Special functions, ah yes, and I did completely forget here. We do have our accounting preview movie as well. So right above here in the lower right here, notice in our submenu, we do have our convert to new accounting module, but then we do have the view accounting preview movie as well. And so that does give you a good idea of, the, uh, of many of the bells and whistles that uh, accounting offers or how it looks and feels differently from the financial module. So the uh, final step, of course, is to come into our Convert to New Accounting module. And when we click on that, it pops up with a dialog box that says this will convert from financial to accounting. We recommend checking our website. You know, click Help for further info. No to cancel it. Click Yes to complete the conversion. So if we've gone through everything that we've detailed thus far, I think we're ready for the conversion. And we can go ahead and click Yes on that. So it goes through a little check here. The screen goes blank. But simply, once you either you'll get messages indicating that we've got a you know, part of the conversion cannot be completed, or we'll see as we see here that the you know data conversion, the progress bars have sh are showing up here, and uh, and the conversion process has begun. So the internal checks that have that the system has performed uh, prior to the conversion have been completed and successful, or we would have gotten not see this window and we would get other messages. So we're going to go ahead and uh, perform a little bit of uh, movie magic here and we're going to go ahead and, and speed things along here. The conversion as indicated can take a long time. It depends on the speed of your computer, the um, how much data you have, you know, how many years worth of financial data you have in there, how big your database is. There are many factors that determine that uh, or that influence that. However, uh, generally on average our experience is uh, the conversion probably usually takes anywhere between you know, five minutes and maybe 20 or 30 at the very most. Um, again, depending on the speed of your computer and the size of your database. So again, we're going to go ahead and skip right along here to the end of the conversion. And, uh, and we're going to uh, you know, show what that looks like when it's all said and done and log back into, into church windows to show our accounting. All right, so as our conversion begins to wind down here, just a few things, other things here. 
uh, is it notices here at the top of the box, the bot dialog box or conversion box that says, please do not turn off your computer until the process is complete. Yeah, please, uh, you know, ad adhere to that and just, you know, go step away from the machine, go grab a cup of coffee, whatever you're, you know, just let the conversion complete. As you see here, it is going back year by year and it is converting our transactions, our accounts, all the way back to the very first year that we had began using Church Windows Financial. Um, so you don't need, shouldn't need to do any re-entry of any data or transactions or accounts or anything. It's going to take your current data and convert that all over. Um, and as the, when the conversion is complete, as we see here, the conversion, it pops up with a dialog box that says the conversion from financial to accounting is completed successfully. Church Windows needs to exit at this time. Re-enter Church Windows as you would normally. And so we're going to click OK on that. And it tosses us out of Church Windows. And when we log back in, you know, if you have a username or a password um, to get into the, you know, login prompts to get into the program, normally you'll need to enter that, of course. Um, and then we now notice that when we open to the main screen, it now says accounting. Um, just by way of concluding this, uh, the conversion to accounting must take place before the conversion from contributions to donations can be completed. So the order is very specific. So uh, prepare to your transition and conversion to accounting first. And then once that's completed, then you can decide to convert to donations anytime thereafter. So now when we open our accounting module after uh, first time after uh, conversion, it is going to open up to a very different looking screen. Um, and to our setup chart of accounts window with our prompt to finalize our beginning balances. Uh, this is, uh, you know, again, the system is, you know, in accounting now is requiring a balance balance sheet. And so simply um, at some point between, you know, when you're working in throughout the course of the year, you know, after maybe the first couple of bank reconciliations are completed, um, you're going to want to finalize these beginning balances. You certainly have some time. You know, when you're ready to do that, you would simply click Finalize Beginning Balances. However, in the meantime, until that is, uh, until you're ready to, to finalize or click the, that step to finalize those balances, you can simply close out of the setup chart of accounts and continue to work in accounting as you would normally. Just be aware that uh, the every time you open accounting until they're finalized, you are going to get that finalized beginning balances prompt. So the conversion process to accounting is from financial to accounting is really nothing to be um, you know terribly stressed out about or worried about. It's not terribly not very difficult. A lot of folks are again intimidated by it. You know we hope this movie or presentation has been helpful with uh, you know uh, pointing out some of the very useful and helpful information that we make available for you. Uh, you don't need to have a Church Windows technician on the phone uh, to walk through the conversion with you. However, if it does make you feel more comfortable, please don't hesitate to let us know. And we hope this presentation has been helpful. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions. Thank you.